So if you just started playing Power World, you might need some tips and tricks to help you out with the early game. Well, you've come to the right place. I love this game, but it is quite complicated at the start. So follow these steps and you'll be well on your way. So the number one piece of advice I can say is gathering as many of these spheres as you can because you need to capture as many powers as you possibly can because every time you capture a new one, you can get 10 of the same one and you get so much XP for all of them. So what I will do here is I'm just going to capture this. I've already got 9 of these, so I'll capture him, 100%. Just look at the XP it gives you. 479. I've actually got one more. Alright, that's fine. I can do this guy. So that gave me 479, and that gave me another 488, and I've done all 10. So that gives me even more, and I'm already almost level 19. I've only been doing this for about 10 minutes, and I've already leveled up two and a half times, I think. So as you can see here, I have a fully functioning base, and I have everything covered. So it literally is just self-sustaining. I could stand here, and everyone's fine, produces everything for me. And the best way to do that is to get everyone at least one job covered by everything that you have. So what I have in my base at the moment are these 10 right here. These two guys are absolutely perfect because as you can see, they have two gathering, two mining and two transporting. Mining is really important because ore and stone are really important in this game. And then you have these two monkeys for wood as well, so they can be chopping the wood down as well. So he waters as well, as well as him. And this Vixie right here, if I run over to this little area over here, they produce spheres and arrows and sometimes gold as well. So it's definitely, definitely good to have more than one of those. I only have one so far, so it's better to have two of those minimum. Get rid of this Capriti guy because there's no real need to have him. So now I'm over here. What you have to do is you see these lumbering station, the mining station. You have chests next to both of them just because when they're transporting, it saves time from them walking from here all the way over there into the chest room to then come all the way back and then mine again to then transport. So you put it right next to each one. It saves a ton of time, honestly. So next up is in this menu here, you have the stats on the right hand side. So you've got HP, stamina, attack, defense, work speed, and weight. So the main ones you're gonna wanna focus on are actually HP and weight. Sometimes stamina as well, because obviously it means you can sprint faster and cut trees, etc. But in my opinion, HP, and weight are the two most important things. I have two here, so I'm just gonna put one on both. Beautiful stuff. Stamina is also really, really good, especially when you're fighting with melee weapons, but if you're using guns or bows, etc., it doesn't actually use it, so it's not that important, but for things like swimming, climbing, sprinting, obviously, yeah, you will need it. So the next step to follow, which in my opinion is one of the most important ones, all of these are important, but this one, especially for exploring and combat, etc., it's really, really good to have. I would recommend you use a team, it doesn't have to be the same, but a team like this. So these two, level five and level six, I'm getting them leveled up because they actually have special abilities that you can craft and then they actually make use of your team so for example this nightwing right here i've already crafted it so if i just acquire that and then when i bring him out i use the ability i can fly you literally fly with him it's so good it doesn't use any stamina just to fly around like this to go up and down it does and then to go forward it does but you can literally fly so the next one in my team i have this alpaca looking geezer so you can actually mount and ride him as well and at the same time you can shoot as well you can attack using him so you press the button in uses a melee attack or you press e and he shoots for you now one of the most important things when it comes to boss fights and just general pve in general general pve in general is to use this guy in the corner over here you need to build this and it uses things like, so if we look at Lift Monk Effigies, are these green little glowy things that you find around the map that actually increase your own power. So this is what they look like. They're these little green glowy things that you find around the map. There you go. So now I've done this, I have Capture Power. This is a must have for when you start capturing those higher level powers because they do become harder and harder to get as further you get through the game, which obviously makes sense. And there is also another way you can actually upgrade your own team. They're called Pal Souls. That Again, you find them around the map. They're just these little blue icons. They look pretty much just like this on screen. So you can upgrade max HP, attack, defense, and work speed. So I'm gonna do attack on this guy. There we go. 
That is perfect. That is really, really good. I love these things. So a huge thing that you'll want to do is use one of these massive incubators. They're quite long to build. I think it takes like two and a half minutes. But what you do is you put a pal in. So for example, I use this guy, put him in, and then you find the other ones that you got. So from earlier on in the video when I showed you, so you do 10 all together like this. So there's loads of this one, a few of these. I've got loads of the same ones in here. You combine them all to make them more powerful. So I'll chuck him in, chuck him in, chuck him in. And I think there's another one. Yep, there's another one there. Yeah, so the powers used as essences will vanish. So the ones you put in, they will actually disappear. There we go. And now he's become stronger. Brilliant stuff. So he's automatically got loads of buffs, which is really, really handy and a great way to use all of the powers that you caught earlier on. So one of the most important items as you start to progress through from the early stages towards the mid stages is ingots. So these little things right here, they're not very difficult to get, but they just take quite a while to do. Obviously, if you mine them yourself, you get a decent amount. So I can just mine this thing and get a fair bit from it. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad, but at the same time, you want to get it automated. So what I have done is if you fast travel from your base, build a second base over here in this red area here. So I transfer over here. And the reason why I do this is because look at all of this ore. All you have to do is just put loads of pals that have mining skills and gathering skills, chuck them all in here, and then they'll just mine everything for you. Stick them in the chest. So I just picked up a few, put some in 40 ore already. That's 20 ingots right there and then that's absolutely brilliant and then you can either smelt them here if you want or you can transfer back to the other base as well and then do it from there but i just think this is the perfect way obviously you have to do again you have beds you have to have food everything automated so they continue on moving so they don't slack off but it's so so good so that just about does it if you found any of this helpful or you have any recommendations in the comments please let me know down below that would be very much appreciated thank you very much and goodbye